Hi, this is Jeff from ScalarRx again, here to show you how to use the Create Test Wizard in QMAX. It's a straightforward three-step process that will help you build tests tailored to your needs. First off, I'll start from the USMLE RX dashboard, where we're at right here, and navigate to QMAX. From here, I will choose Create Tests. Once I do that, you'll see the three steps here at the top. Test settings, choose questions, and finalize test. From the test settings page, you will select the type of questions you want to include. Initially, you'll verify the source, choosing either the step one bank or the step two bank. Next, you'll select the question difficulty. By default, the system pre-selects easy, medium, and hard, but you can adjust this based on your preference, choosing from easy questions or a mix of all available questions. Now, below this, you'll find options for question status, answer status, and mark status. So if you're new to QMAX, you'll likely want to keep the default settings on all for each of these options. However, as you progress, you might want to filter questions to only include those you haven't encountered before. To do that, you would say unused only. For example, if you create a renal test with 40 questions and only answer one before being interrupted, all other questions on that test are considered used. Deleting a test will reset the status of those questions to unused. Students often use the answer status to review questions they've previously answered incorrectly, or use the mark status to revisit questions they've highlighted for review. Once your settings are configured, move to the next step to choose questions. Here you can use the classic method, selecting questions based on disciplines and organ systems, or the newer method, using first aid topics as your guide. Using disciplines and organ systems, you can narrow down your focus, for instance, to specific types of anatomy questions, like cardio or neuro. The system automatically recalculates the number of available questions with each selection. Now, for more refined control, switch to first aid topics and choose questions based on chapters and sections uh, within the text. For instance, focusing on cardiovascular, you'll see over 220 questions, which you can further narrow down by topic, such as, as pathology. Now, after determining your test contents, proceed to finalize it. Select your test mode, and you can use tutor, timed, or untimed, and give it a name. If you don't name it, the system will automatically generate one for you. After this, decide how many questions your test should include. You can adjust the total as needed based on your selected topics and settings. There is a maximum of 100 questions that you can include on a test but you can move that number up and down with the arrows or just by adding the number of items that you want with your keyboard. Now you can always go back to add more topics or change the settings as you go through it. Once you're satisfied, you can then create your test. We hope this guide helps you as you begin creating tests in QMAX. If you have questions or feedback, leave a comment below or subscribe to our channel for more content to help you succeed in med school. Thanks for watching.